Hello and welcome to CEN. I'm Tom Mayfair here with the January 2024 Roundup, bringing you significant updates from the cannabis world. A monumental change is occurring in Germany, which is set to legalise marijuana by April 2024. The decision, after years of debate, reflects a shift in social attitudes and aims to set up a regulated market. Germany's approach is expected to inspire neighbouring European countries to reconsider their cannabis policies, potentially triggering a wave of reform across the continent. Delving deeper into Germany's groundbreaking decision, it's not just about legalising cannabis, it's about reshaping the social and economic landscape. By establishing a regulated market, Germany is poised to become a leader in the European cannabis industry, setting standards that others might follow. The ripple effect of this policy could redefine cannabis legislation across Europe, as neighbouring countries observe and learn from the German model. In the United States, the Department of Justice has begun issuing marijuana pardon certificates under an order from President Biden. The certificates are intended to alleviate the burden of past federal marijuana possession convictions, aiding individuals in overcoming barriers to housing, employment and education. The process of obtaining these certificates has been streamlined to ensure accessibility and efficiency. This initiative by the US Department of Justice is more than just a bureaucratic process. It's a significant stride towards righting past wrongs. By issuing these pardon certificates, the government acknowledges the disproportionate impact of previous laws and seeks to offer a new lease of life for those affected. It's a crucial step in reforming the justice system and reshaping public perception about cannabis and its users. In New York, the legal cannabis market has achieved $104 million in sales, showing a significant growth despite a slow rollout and competition from unlicensed stores. Moreover, New York is set to liberalise its cannabis policies further by allowing residents to grow marijuana at home. Starting this year, New Yorkers over 21 will be able to cultivate up to six mature plants in their residences. Policy change marks a significant shift toward personal liberty and access to cannabis. It's a move that's expected to encourage responsible use and knowledge about cannabis cultivation. The state's decision to permit home growing aligns with its broader efforts to develop a regulated market and provide safe, legal access to cannabis. New York's impressive sales figures are just the tip of the iceberg. The decision to allow home cultivation is a testament to the evolving mindset towards cannabis. This move not only opens doors to a new kind of cannabis culture, but also empowers individuals with their choice and autonomy over their cannabis use. It's a significant leap towards demystifying cannabis and fostering a responsible, informed community of users. Ontario's cannabis market is undergoing a significant transformation. The noticeable decrease in prospectuses filed by cannabis companies in 2023 points to a maturing market. Experts suggest this could be a result of regulatory stabilisation and market saturation. The industry is now moving towards a phase of consolidation, where businesses are focusing on sustainable growth and operational efficiency. The shift indicates a more stabilised and mature market environment, reflecting a broader trend in the global cannabis industry towards market stabilisation and long-term sustainability. The shift in Ontario's cannabis market dynamics signifies a pivotal moment in the industry's life cycle. The reduction in prospectus filings is an indicator of a market moving away from rapid expansion to focusing on quality and customer experience. This trend towards consolidation and efficiency is a sign of a maturing market mirroring similar patterns seen in other industries as they stabilise and refine their business models. In a strategic acquisition, Grow IQ has acquired Ample Organics, expanding its capabilities in cannabis technology. This marks a significant expansion in Grow IQ's footprint, both in Canada and internationally, hinting at a trend towards a tech-driven efficiency for the cannabis industry. Grow IQ's acquisition of Ample Organic is more than a business transaction. It's a strategic move that highlights the increasing importance of technology in the cannabis sector. This merger is set to revolutionise the way cannabis businesses operate, integrating advanced technology to streamline processes, enhance product quality and meet evolving consumer demands. Ukraine is establishing its cannabis industry following medical marijuana legalisation. Despite legal foundations, the development of a functional domestic cultivation sector is expected to take years. However, this marks a pivotal shift in embracing cannabis's medical benefits. Panama has granted licenses to seven companies for manufacturing medical cannabis products. 
This significant step signals Panama's commitment to developing its cannabis medical industry, potentially impacting the Latin American market. Panama's decision to issue licenses for medical cannabis production is a significant step, not just for the country, but for the entire Latin American region. The move signals Panama's intent to be at the forefront of the medical cannabis industry, potentially setting a benchmark for other nations in the region. It's a strategic leap towards embracing the medical benefits of cannabis, opening up new avenues for research, development and economic growth. And that's our roundup for January 2024. Stay with us for updates on the evolving cannabis landscape, but for now, goodbye.